Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video on Security Breach. I feel like that's all the videos we've been doing this year, but this video is for good purpose this time because we had the official trailer number two showcase in the NVIDIA GeForce Game On special event. And oh boy, was it definitely something. I I'll show off my reaction to it uh, right now, and then later on, after the reaction, I'll go into my thoughts. Um, as well as my opinions on the trailer, what we need going forward, and then I'll do like a trailer breakdown analysis. So, first off, if you're new, subscribe. We just passed 13,000 subscribers. I am so, so thankful. Thanks to everyone who came out to the stream today, and here is my reaction to the trailer number two for FNAF Security Breach. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! themed indie hit grew to become a massive oh, voice, 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 with voice. over 30 million downloads oh, oh. and a billion YouTube views. Ah. Today we are announcing with developer Steel Wolf Studios <sighs> that the latest chapter yes. of Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Jeff, I love you! Future RTX Ray Tracing and DLSS. Mm, mm. You can expect a new level of immersion ah. in a unique and frightening world. Ah. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is coming later this year. We wait. Here's a look at game footage. No, 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 not later this year. No, not later this year. Gregory. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. It's getting late. It's getting late. Oh my god, dude, it looks so beautiful. <gasps> Whoa, what the fuck was that? That was the clean bot. That was the clean bot. That was the clean bot. The restaurant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was that still Vinny? Was that still Vinny? Oh, we're in the backstage now. Boys are in the backstage now. Who the was that? Who the was that? Who the hell was that? Let's rock. Was that Chica? No. no. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Oh come on, that's it! Oh piss off, mate. Yeah, <laughs> come on. So as you can see, I was very, very excited. Um, because it was actually a very exciting trailer. I really did enjoy it. But of course, not many people did. So I want to talk about that. Now, in my, if you saw my, um, my stream, when I reacted to it, you'll know that I actually did really like the trailer. Was I wishing we got something more? Yes, absolutely, 100%. But am I happy with what we got? Yeah, I'm perfectly content. It basically is just the first trailer all over again with some more panning shots of the area, but this time we got so many more new areas to look at. Some sort of Mexican restaurant, an ice cream restaurant, some sort of like backstage area where they handle all of the boxes and shipment. We got a second look at kind of what I'm guessing is the main hub, the main lobby of the location, and a lot of different shots of other areas, which I really do like. I think the graphics and all the new areas look mwah, mwah, spectacular. However, again, I was wishing we got some gameplay. I was wishing we got some more looks of the characters, some more animations. Uh, we did get some new voice lines, which I, something that was on my bucket list. Bucket list, that's what, what you want to do before you die. Who knows, maybe I'm being hunted down by Vanny. But that was on my checklist of things I wanted in the uh, next trailer, so check, new voice lines. Now, I have seen quite a few people say you were expecting gameplay in a trailer that was supposed to show off the graphics and the ray tracing. Well, what's wrong with you? I mean, can you blame us? That would be a pristine time to show off gameplay with the ray tracing graphics. See the game in action. But instead, we got more shots, which again, I'm not really that upset about. Though again, I was wishing we got a bit more. If you saw my tweets over on Twitter, at Box, by the way, you'll know that I tweeted out Security Breach is not ready, because I don't think it is. Um, the person presenting the show, our boy Jeff, said that the game is coming out, quote, later this year. That is a direct quote. And that completely contradicts what Scott said a mere month and a half ago, where he said that the game was coming out, quote, early 2021, not late 2021. So, what, which, which one is it? Now, it's it's very hard to tell when this show was made, because if it was made before, um, you know, uh, Scott and Stilwell realized, hey, we need so much more time, let's push it back, then I would understand why he said that. Um, or, the other option is that it is coming out late 2021, um, <laughs> and the game is much bigger than they thought it was when they realized, hey, this is a big game, and they need even more time, which, again, I really don't care if they need more time. I just want to see the game. I feel like that is complete juxtaposition. Let me rephrase that. I want to see gameplay of the game. I want an actual 
trailer, not just a teaser trailer, which is what we've been getting. It also doesn't help that, as, as some people have found out on Twitter, the map appears to be missing some things, like missing textures so you can see into the void. It's using, you know, preset asset. <laughs> that's not the word I'm looking for, but like, you know, starter assets of the engine that Steel Wool is using. So it, it seems like it's still in early development, which is not good. Again, I would, I want them to take their time. I want it to be the best game it can possibly be. I just want them to stop saying release dates. Last time they said a release date was in 2019. They said it was coming out 2021. Obviously that didn't happen. We waited like every single month in that year waiting for something. We didn't get anything. And then we were at the final year of 2020 with, you know, December and Scott finally said, hey, we, we need to push this game back to next year, early 2021. But even that is being called into question. I, I'm really not upset with Scott and Staywall. I'm really not. I know it may seem like I am. I'm just, well, to be fair, I'm a little bit upset that they are, you know, still, their lack of communication, right? Steerwell put out a um, info page on their website shortly after after uh, today's trailer, and they said, sorry, we've been kind of quiet. And it seems like they just didn't do anything with that statement afterwards. They know they're quiet, and they're not really addressing it, which is really bad. This is the biggest goddamn game in the entire franchise in the whole six and a half year lineup, and they're just not really communicating. Even Scott, like I said, his statements are being called into question. I really don't want to try and get angry at them. I really don't want them to be getting hate like they did back in September. But when they do stuff like this, it's it's hard to not be disappointed. Again, I think the trailer was great. I was just hoping for a bit more, probably because I was overhyping myself, which I can completely see. Um, but yeah, we, we need something soon. Even Darko, you know, even Darko, he, he was disappointed. He ended his stream like 10, 15 minutes after the trailer was on screen. It's like, I don't know, everyone was very disappointed, but I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say anymore. Anyways, I'm done talking about that for now. Let's do it like a trailer breakdown, okay? Security Breach will feature RTX ray tracing and DLSS. So that's very exciting is that, uh, hello Jeff, my, my beautiful man, um, uh, it has RTX and ray tracing and all that stuff, that's pretty hype. You can expect a new level of immersion into Freddy's unique and frightening world. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is coming later this year. See that's what I'm talking about, I don't know when this whole show was planned, I don't know when Jeff recorded this. So he could be talking about last year before they decided to push it back or he could be up to date and he got word from Scott and Steelwall that yeah, the game is going to need even more time to be developed. So let's hop into the actual trailer Here's right a now. Look at game footage our friends and I'll play it through once together for us. and then we'll go in depth. So here we hear Vanny. Panning shot of the lobby. It's getting late. More Vanny voice lines and what appears to be a Mexican restaurant. Interesting. And a robot flying by. Couple Let's robots. Get Let's get you home, Vanny says. Another ice cream place. We'll talk in depth later. More robots. And put you to bed. And put you to bed. Here we get a... Oh, I don't want to pause it. Another area. I see you. Someone sees us. And then we get what appears to be like an office area. You can see all the boxes. <laughs> Evil sinister laugh, and then we get a tada card. So now let's go in depth on the second trailer and let's see what we can find. First thing we hear is Vanny calling out to Gregory. Gregory. And then we get another shot of this lobby area. We first saw this in the um the first ever teaser trailer, and now here we have it again. A much better look this time. We can actually see into the shops here. We can see this is where you go in. You'll step into here. This is the gift shop. It looks like it says Glamrock Gifts. You can see all sorts of things in there, including a Glamrock Chica head. You can see um, a keytar up here that belongs to Roxanne. You can see some more toys in there. Right here, you can see the Sun Girl animatronic. So it does appear that the Sun Girl animatronic actually is legit. It's hard to tell, but these may be like plushies of some kind, just more toys of what appears to be maybe Glamrock Chica and Montgomery right here. Over here, you can actually see what appears to be a cafe, the Faz Pad. I I guess, uh, <laughs> interesting name. Roxanne, you can see right here. 
and it looks like this is Cheo's, maybe? Either that or the cafe's up here, and this is another location, but I feel like it might be the same because there would be another sign out here if it was a different location. You can see the escalators going up, as well as an elevator right here, again with the golden Glamrock Freddy statue right here, and you can see some moving silhouette characters in the background. On the banners right here, you can see Freddy moving, you can see Montgomery moving, Roxanne. It's getting late. It's getting late. Um, initially, I thought this was something right here, but it just appears to be some kitchen uh, things. It looked like this could be uh, Glamrock Chica, a Glamrock Chica plushie right there. And then this appears to be like an L Chip plushie. Again, this is a Mexican restaurant. You can see all the tables that you sit at. You can see out in the back of the restaurant, there's actually an arcade. So it is more uh, along the lines of like a Chuck E. Cheese place where you sit down, you eat your pizza, and then you go play some arcade games. Now, interestingly enough, look at what we get right here. We get a robot waiter, a, a robot server, whatever you want to call them. Could this be the clean bot we heard about on scottsvoices.com page? I have no clue. There's also one, you can kind of see it as it goes by. There's one back there. I don't think that this is a mirror. So it seems like these things are like in sync of how they move, which is interesting. Ready, set, go. Not sure what that could be. Maybe just a entrance into the arcade place. And this is where you like check in at your table. Let's get you home. Vanny wants to get us home. And this is, as you can see up here, the ice cream Polar. These lamps, by the way, is what I was talking about when I said that they have um, assets that are like, you know, in the starter pack for the engine. So that's why I feel like this game might need a bit more time. As well as this thing right here. What is going on here? How do you miss this, guys? Anyways, you can see it. this is where you sit down in the polar. You have some booths right here. Or you can just sit at a table. You have more robots manning the machines. One actually turns to you, I believe. Uh, yeah, you can see a little bit of their face right there. You can see this pizza right here. That looks like a hallway or a room into somewhere. So since all of this is not lined up, I don't know if this was an accident. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if that's just because the wall has opened up to reveal these secret hallways. I don't know. You can see ice cream right here, just kind of being left out. Either that or it's a prop. You can see another robot right here. And put you to bed. Put us to bed. I don't know why. Vanny wants to tuck us into bed, but I guess it's past our bedtime. And this is some sort of like, you know, backstage, you know, staff only. I use this example in my stream, but if you guys know Disney World has like secret corridors underneath the land so employees can like get to places faster, this could be something along the lines of that. Also, people say that these are eyes when very clearly it's just a red light reflection. You can see the red light is also up here, the reflection of it. That's not a character. I. I had to argue with my chat. That's not a character. It's literally a light reflection, all right? You can see maybe these are some vents that we get to crawl through. I don't know. This sign right here has a pizza symbol. This sign has a Luigi symbol. So we go this way to go to Super Mario Land, and we go this way to go to the pizza. I have no clue what this L is, by the way. I have no clue. I'm just making jokes. I see you. I'll be honest. I don't think this is Vanny. Um... This really doesn't sound like the same character. I think it's a different character. Um, so yeah, who this could be, I have no clue. Tell me your theories in the comments down below. I don't think it could be Chica. Uh, I don't think it could be Roxanne. I feel like it would be weird to have one of those characters being voiced in this trailer. Uh, just my personal opinion. This appears to be, again, some place that we'll have to walk through in order to get to our office. You can see right down here, this is where I think... Uh, some of the map is falling apart, right? Either that or it's just a extremely lit hallway. You can see here's some boxes So it seems like this area is where the employees the managers of the shipment locations um, Keep track of all the boxes going in coming in uh, <laughs> I mean going out and coming into the uh, to the establishment It's hard to tell what that says, but you can see a poster up here <clears throat> and you can see a let's rock symbol right here and, yep, there are some computers in there. <laughs> and then we get some laughs. And again, I feel like these are two different people laughing at the same time. <laughs> Is that just me? Or do you, do you guys think there's one person laughing there? Two people? I don't know. And then we get the title card. As you can hear, the, uh, the Help Wanted music is in the background. The credits music. So, obviously, um, again, that's another tie-in to Help Wanted. There actually has been another... 
uh, info that has been released as I'm recording this. So let's talk about that quickly. Okay, so right here, oh god, that is hard to see. So, Kane Carter on Twitter, um, pointed out that this is a poster for the Moon animatronic, and if you look very closely, god, th this beam right here is, you know, making it hard to see, and also the bars right here, the, 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 the shades of the shutters, whatever the hell they're called. You can see that the Moon character appears to be called Moon Drop. Interesting name, definitely uh, not a name that I thought they would have, but I guess that's their name. Howdy ho, gamers, I'm back. I don't know where I'm gonna put this in the video because I'm recording this after I finish recording. But a few more things have been discovered, not really anything too groundbreaking, but definitely something that um, is worth mentioning. Uh, this is the Sodoroni poster from uh, Help Wanted. Sodoroni was a drink in Help Wanted, so yet another connection there. Um, even though they are literally directly linked. I just love all the references. And also, this board right here shows that Fazbear Entertainment is actually swiftly losing money. So, maybe that's going to be a key, um, you know, uh, point, I don't know what, what I'm looking for, in the game. The fact that Fazbear Entertainment is very swiftly losing cash, that they need money. So, yeah, this is what all the writing is all about there and also the staff dudes these robots they have staff written on the back of them it's it's actually very hard to see yeah but they do have staff written on them so they are definitely um employee robots i really hope that there's a scene in the game where we're just surrounded by them and they attack us that that would be cool anyways um i i really do hope we get something else soon an update from scott you know an update from steerwall <laughs> anything really a new teaser again we've had the vanny teaser let me just double check to make sure the vanny teaser is still there uh yes it is okay we've had that vanny teaser since august the 7th quite a long time so while i do really enjoy this trailer um we definitely do need something more or if the game is just not ready still just tell us right i you're gonna get a lot of angry kids like oh, you have been pushing it back so much just give us the game already but, you know, the big brain people will realize that the longer you wait, the better game you'll get. So that's it for me. If anything new comes up, um, I'll hop on it. But right now, that's everything. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.